Hello guys, once again it's Matt and today we have another video, quick one, let's just get into it, uh, make sure to subscribe and thank you all the members and patrons. Uh, Oshita, thank you for doing this data mine, another data mine for the new update that was released today on the dev server. So uh, yeah, not a lot of things were actually changed. Uh, I already did a video talking about the main things like the aircraft, but yeah, it's cool to take a look on it. So you will see some minor things like F-14 loadouts being removed and added with the 9 l and changing the way that everything is with stock stuff, you know, so I'm not gonna mention too much about it because there's no, no major changes over here. All of these are just fixes for those, right? AV-8B Plus, obviously, it was added today, so um, it got the new custom loadouts. You can see the, 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 the basically the missiles and everything that you can actually add for it, the weapon systems. I already... Uh, did a video on it. The Super Retendar is the same. Uh, some other uh, loadouts over here. So yeah, people were losing their minds because the Super Retendar didn't inv didn't have flares or anything like that. And I mean, like, come on, guys, it wasn't even in the dev server, and you guys were already complaining. Like, chill, this is work in progress. Wait for the patch to be released, then we grab our pitches and focus, right? Is it that way that you say? I don't know. But anyway, custom loadout changes, as you see, a lot of them. I'm not gonna even, like, talk about every single one of them. Uh, it's for the new aircraft, you know, so... Yeah, I already did a video on it. Uh, Kurnas 2000, this is an interesting one. They increased the flares in chef to 200 uh, instead of 144. So each slot that you actually add on the Sparrow uh, pylon is actually getting... Um, 28 more flares, so yeah, very interesting to see that. Uh, custom loadout changes to the Barak 2 as well. New fly model for the AV-8B+, added the APG-65Q Raider. Uh, the targeting pod FOV of the F-14 was severely changed, as you see, basically half of what it was. So that's weird, but yeah. New fly model for the Super Tendar, and that's pretty much it. So nothing crazy, basically just the... Um, New additions and some changes to custom loadouts and other minor things, right? Uh, here we have some of the RWR changes that, yeah, they are messing with it. So, uh, while we say that it is work in progress, we can, um, you know, reiterate that with the RWR changes. So, yeah, as you see over here, for example, the Mirage Detector over here, mandatory recognition, true, false, I don't know what that means, but the thing is that they are, like, it was true. It was added as true in the last data mine. Now it's false. So they're messing with it, you know? So they're actually testing it out. Uh, the weird part is that they added all of these RWRs. Uh, a lot of them are just NATO standard, you know, ones. Uh, now detecting, tracking, and launch of missiles, if I'm not mistaken. But the SPO-15 didn't act get it yet. So hopefully it does get it. Only the Pastel is here, detecting, tracking, and launching of missiles. Uh, but the Berioza, which is the SPO-15, which is for the MiG-29, Yak-41, stuff like that, um, it is not yet detecting launch of missiles, which is completely wrong. Uh, of course, in real life, you can actually even uh, say the distance of the target uh, in kilometers, you know, in 5 to 5 uh, kind of, you know, gaps. Um, SPO2 as well, which is the, the older ones, SPO10. So they're messing with these things. They're making sure that the RWRs are good. So still, still work in progress, okay? But they are messing with it. All these ones, you can check uh, if it's an aircraft that you like flying or anything like that. Uh, basically looking into, into the game. If you go to the aircraft and you go to X-Ray and you put it on the pilot, you will see RWR, for example, this is the SPO-150 that the SU-39 has. It is the pastel. It has all the, the bands, all the ranges. Uh, the range, I mean, it's 70 kilometers, threat types, unlimited, tracker threats, you know, 12 unlimited types, uh, launching threats types, 36, identified threats on scope, 36. Um, we might just keep those numbers in mind. For example, the SPO-15 for now, way less bands, less range, um, unlimited types, but no tracking or launching of missiles. I mean, the tracking, yes, but not the actual launching of missiles. So you can see that it, it is work in progress still because MiG-29 should have that. But each aircraft that you can actually take a look, 
we'll have a different RWR. So here we have the ALR56M, one that is in there. So yeah, launching threats, you know, so it can detect uh, missiles being launched. Um, let's see the uh, Block 10, for example. He has the same ALR56. Let's see another one. The F14 probably uses another one. Uh, so yeah, ALR45, uh, launching threats types one. So we can actually uh, detect one type of launching of missiles. I wonder what type is it? Is it if it's saying that it is like active missiles or how, what? What type of thing is this? You know. So what does it mean? We don't know yet. We will need to wait to see uh, when the patch is actually released. But you can see that each type of each aircraft has its own type of RWR that will have its own capabilities, uh, its limitations and everything. If you go to older aircraft, you will have be severely limited. Uh, for example, this one, I mean, unlim unlimited types of threats and tracking. So basically saying that if somebody locks on you, you will know uh, in a certain band at least or something like that in a range of 50 kilometers. But you will never know when a target is being fired. Or a missile is being fired so each aircraft will have its own system okay spo 15 again let's take a look on the the mirage i was wondering what the mirage was uh serval so as you see for example here one of the most advanced ones together with the pastel and the f16 f uh c uh, one so very very cool right let's go back so um yeah that, that was it uh Tank changes, you know, nothing too crazy, but they are changing some of the armors of the new vehicles, uh, the flamethrowers of the TO-55, for example, uh, some other minor things, uh, so nothing too crazy. Here we have another big change, I think. Not, It's not that big, but it is an interesting one. Uh, the R60s are being nerfed, yes. The R60 and R60M will have a 30 degree per second tracking rate. I don't know yet, at one point in the game, tracking rate didn't mean much, you know, in the code of the game. I don't know if this is the, the case right now, uh, but it feels like it is going to be a little bit less capable of changing directions quickly, I would say. That's one of the ways of taking a look on the track rate, uh, because it takes a little bit more time to actually track the enemy changing directions, right, uh, on the Seeker. This is for the Seeker, uh, as you see over here, IR Seeker, right? So, just for you to know, the track rate of it is um, actually getting nerfed. The max lock angle for the R60M is getting increased by 2 degrees, which is interesting. And the minimal angle to the sun, 15 degrees. So, the R60, the normal one, will be tracking less and also uh, looking on the sun more, I'm pretty sure. So, more degrees, it means that it probably will see the sun uh, for those 15 degrees more than just the 10 that it was before. And here we have kind of a buff with the 20 degrees on the max lock rate angle, but a, a decrease in the, um, in the track rate of the R60M as well. And here we have some changes to the M9Ls, increasing the explosive mass, so it should be a little bit better destroying targets um, in an overall sense. Not that the M9L ever needed that, uh, it has plenty of, you know, more than 3 kilograms is plenty to actually kill a target it's not like the one kilo of the r60m that sometimes it just hits the target and it doesn't properly kill it uh, so you never did have problems with that but larger aircraft will su like suffer more damage uh, from that uh, some economy changes obviously with the lines and stuff they're messing with that as well uh, stat card changes as you see over here economical changes you can always click here I will leave all of these in the description and some of the uh, new avatars some of the new tech tree images anything not, not nothing like particularly um, important right uh, and some minor things added over here as well so yeah guys basically this is it so uh, it's basically proving that they are still working on the dev you know RWRs are still working progress so yeah I see a, a lot I mean there's so many people complaining about the SPO 15 not giving the launch warning or X or Y aircraft not having a certain missile or whatever but it's the dev, man. That's why the feedback is important. They are testing everything. And it's important to have the feedback to actually uh, tell the developers what they actually need to do, need the, ch uh, the changes that they need to do, right? So, yeah.
Anyway, subscribe. I see you guys on the next one. And bye. See ya.